Hey guys, it's Erica here from Big Cat Creative and today I'm going to show you how to add a chat box to your Squarespace site for free using Facebook Messenger. Live chat boxes are great because they help your visitors ask questions to you in real time to help them make purchase decisions faster and easier. There's a ton of third-party plugins that you can use for this, but in our opinion, Facebook Messenger is probably your best bet. It's not only free, but it's also super easy to set up in Squarespace. Plus, you're probably already on Facebook for business anyway, and your customers are too. So it's an easy setup because you probably already have it half done. So you will need a Facebook business account before we get started, and you'll also need a Squarespace business plan, as we'll need to copy and paste over some code from Facebook to your Squarespace site. Don't worry, it's very easy, but this requires the business plan for Squarespace. Below this video, I've added links to sign up to Facebook business if you don't have it already, and also the different Squarespace plans and pricings. If you've got these two things, we're ready to get started. Okay, let's dive right in. So we want to first be in our Facebook business page. So this is our Big Cat Creative page. And if you're logged in as an admin, you'll see this sidebar here. So what you'll wanna do is scroll down and click settings, then click advanced messaging. Here you're gonna find this section called white listed domains. So this is where you'll wanna enter the full URL of the website you're gonna add the chat box to. So let me just zoom in a bit so you can see, I've just added bigcatcreative.com and www.bigcatcreative.com. I'm not sure if this makes a difference, but I always add both just in case. Another option here is that you can actually add your Squarespace built-in URL, which would be bigcatcreative.squarespace.com. So if you have a Squarespace site, you will have a built-in URL and you can find that in your Squarespace site under settings domains. And there's a section there to see or change your built-in URL. And this URL is essentially just the URL that will take you to the back end of your site. So if you do enter it here in Facebook, it's basically just gonna mean that you can see the chat box while you're in edit mode. So you might like that if you wanna see how it looks while you're editing. So I'm just going to keep that in there. I'm going to click enter and show you how it looks in the editor. So if I did want to put a chat box on our live Big Cat Creative site, this is what I would have entered. I don't actually want to do that today because it's going to mess with the live site. So I'm actually just going to cross all these out and add in my domain for the test site I'm working on to show you. It doesn't have a live URL because it's not a real site yet, just a built-in Squarespace domain. So we're just gonna use that for now, but obviously put in all of your own URLs here. So I'm gonna just save that. Then we're gonna go back to the sidebar and click on messaging. Then you're gonna scroll down until you see where it says add messenger to your website. Click get started. And this is where we're gonna set up all of the details for the Facebook manager live chat plugin. Click this blue setup button at the top. You'll wanna choose the standard method for Squarespace. So you can choose your default language. For me, that's gonna be English. So you can see here that it's pulled my bigcatcreative.com URL anyway, because that's the actual URL that's attached to my business Facebook page, but that's okay. It's also pulled the test site URL, which is what I want to show you guys. So just make sure the URLs are correct in there, and you can also re-enter them if for some reason they're not showing up. With that information, Facebook generated a custom code that you'll need to add to your Squarespace site. So just click copy code, click next, and it basically just says to paste the code on your website, which I'll show you how to do now in Squarespace. Okay, so we're gonna jump on over to our Squarespace site and we're gonna click on settings, scroll down and click advanced, and then click on code injection. Scroll down to where it says footer and you're gonna paste that code into your footer. Click save and within a matter of seconds, you'll see your chat box appear on your Squarespace site, but only if you've added your in editor domain because I'm in the editor right now. So if you didn't add your in editor domain or your Squarespace built-in domain, then you wanna to go to your main domain. I don't actually have one for this site, but go to your main domain and you will see that the chat box is appearing on your site. It's super, super quick and easy. Okay, so jumping back into Facebook, we're gonna do some customization now. So just click finish, done. And you'll see this section here. We're going to start with start the conversation. So we're gonna customize the automated welcome message that appears when customers visit your site. You can also add things like frequently asked questions here. So an automated response can go out to customers without having to manage it every single time. So if you open it up, you can add some text and frequently asked questions. 
And over on the right side, you can see a little preview of what that looks like. So you pop your text in here, which is this, the first initial message. And then there's the questions that come down here and people can click on them and then they'll receive their answer. So you can add your question and answer here. It's pretty cool. Once you've finished entering in the start the conversation settings, you can scroll down to customize your chat plugin. So this section, we have a few options to make the plugin feel really branded to your website. And as you go through these, you'll be able to see your changes in real time with the sample plugin on the right hand side again. So your greeting, this is the first thing people will see in your chat box. It's kind of like a little message before they start actually messaging you. This is something that we had in recently about our Black Friday sale, but you can change this to whatever you want and it is good to change it depending on what's happening in your business. So obviously we had ours changed for Black Friday, but you can write whatever you want there. You can decide here if you want people to be able to chat as a guest or having to log in. So most people have Facebook, generally they'll be able to just continue, but for those people who don't have Facebook, it is quite good to be able to just continue as a guest. And then you can add your branding colors. So this is gonna change the button to whatever you like. And here you can also control how the button looks on your website. So if you scroll right down, you'll see it down there at the bottom. You can change the icon. You can change the text. And you can change how you want it to display as people enter your site. So right now it has the button and it has the whole box. If that's a little bit invasive, you could change it to just button or button and greeting, which is pretty cool. So you can also change the position of where you want it on your screen. So right now it's set to right. You can either set it to left. Generally chat boxes are bottom right. I think that's where most people expect to find them if they're looking for one. And you can also change the distance of the margins. So if I increase this number to 100, you'll see that it moves quite far away from the bottom. So I'm just gonna leave it at 24 because I think that looks great. And you can adjust it on mobile too. So if I adjust this, you'll see the mobile preview show up there. So we've already entered the code onto our site. So this is already live. So once you're happy, we've already entered the code. We've done the customizations, click publish and your changes will be published directly onto your site because we already have that code in there. So you can actually do all these customizations first if you want to, and then add the code after you've made them. Just go back to the setup menu and do those same steps again, and you'll be taken to the copy code. So you can put this in after you make your customizations if you'd prefer to do it that way. And that is literally it. That is all it takes to add your chat box to your Squarespace site. You can play around with it, test it out, see how it looks. Let me know in the comments below how you go or if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next video.